going. Park the machine. We're gonna go for a hike. Hopefully we can find where these bulls are at and find their horns. So we'll see. I don't know if you guys clicked on the on the the linky thing and saw the picture. I'm sure you guys probably know more than I know at this point because right now I don't know what's gonna happen. If you guys are wondering, like man, Michael, looks like you're wearing the same clothes as the last video. Because I am. Went to leave and go grab my clothes. Realized they were still laying on the laundry room floor dirty. So just give them a good shake out and threw them back on. This should last me another day or so. So yeah, same clothes, still dirty. About the most exciting thing that's happened. I haven't found no horns. Finally was just sweating like a greased hog and had to lose the long johns and sweatshirt and everything else. This thing here, I thought it was gonna bother me. Got this neck knife here, with the little grombit blade that I got for my wife to carry when she's on her runs. And uh, before I was basically gonna tell her, oh yeah, it won't bother you. I figured I'd wear it and see if it's comfortable. I thought it might bug me, but it's it's actually super comfy. You don't even know it's there. So pretty cool. I'm gonna make a little better handle for it. Anyhow. The horns, nothing for Garrett. It was pretty slow so far. Found one. Yes. Ah! Sweet. Pick it up. I'm gonna look around for the other side. It's Elkhorn. Mm! Alright, hopefully my uh, phone doesn't blow over. on the base. Nice one. Awesome. Okie dokie. Make me a looky loo or two. Garrett split up. He's over yonder or that way. Got some bull tracks for following. But down here I got me a oh fork and orange shed. It's actually a pretty awesome fork. But where's some elk horns at me out? I don't know if you can hear me, it's pretty windy. Uh, I think Garrett's down by the machine. I'm heading that way. I just have the one elk horn, two little deer horns. I think he's got two deer horns last I heard, so. Jumped a few bulls, still packing horns, so I don't know. We covered some ground though, but. On my way out. I uh, made it back to the razor. Just waiting for Garrett. My feet's hurt. Park the machine. We're gonna do one last little run around. Cut a bunch of elk tracks in the snow uh, on top of our track driving in this morning. So we're gonna make a quick loop. It's 5.30. We're gonna do a quick loop and see what we can find. It's a huge windstorm. My dad just texted me and said it's like 70 mile an hour winds back home. It's pretty windy here, but not too bad. Find some horns. I see shed horn.
This little rag or rag rag. There's big ones, meow. So my friend Cody invited me to go shed hunting for blacktail this weekend. I was like, man, that's just too far. I can't go that far again. You know, I, I just couldn't pull it off. So instead, I drove three hours to come make elk sheds. I think I might have made a mistake. Cody just texted me a picture and he killed it and found some monsters. But that's cool that he got some. It's like, oh man, could have been me. Right back to the rig. Back to the truck. Two elk horns. Four, five, six, two. Two horns. See you next time. truck off the road. There's a whiteout. 32 degrees, it's not really sticking yet, but I can barely see where the road's at. Golly.